Okay, today we're going to install the MacBook Pro full body wrap skin by Sticker Boy. As you see those plastic covers, all it does is scratch the MacBook. So we do not recommend installing them. As you see on the back on the top section, you can see some scratches created by the covers. And we're going to install the back skin first. First, you want to take the apple off. Next, get a sharp object, poke a hole through the apple. Just want to rip, rip off enough of the wax paper so you can see right through the apple. And that'll help give it a perfect alignment. Next, we're going to fold the top section of the paper at least about an inch below. And as you see those crisscross sections behind the skin, this, feature, this skin features an air channel adhesive that promises no bubbles. So you want to align the top and make sure the apple is centered. If you're dissatisfied, you can lift it back up and reapply it. Okay, we're satisfied, so we're going to lift it up slowly. Now we're just going to drop it. Make sure no debris is stuck underneath. And you want to start from the middle and push out. You push all the air pockets out. And if you see, we're leaving the corners up. We're not pressing them down yet because we'll be using a household hair dryer to soften the film because this film is a heat forming film. So we're going to keep the corners up. Okay, looks pretty good. So the best way to do is heat the corners while the hair dryer is facing the table. You do not want to heat it up from the top because what it'll do is just complicate things. As you see, we heated it and we press in the middle by dividing the wrinkle into two and then you press left and right. That's it. I want to soften it up for a few seconds. Press in the middle, press to the left and right. Now we're on the last corner. Okay, we're finished. Now if you want, you could put the apple insert in. It leaves at least like a hairline so you can still see the glowing apple. Okay, next is the keyboard skin. Now, compared to everyone else, our skins come with the mouse pad skin. So for now, we're gonna take it off, keep it on the wax paper. And as you see our keyboard skin, we are the only ones on the market that leave the center bridge. While everyone else put a splice in there or they cut it out completely. So it's kind of like the same method as the back skin. You want to drop it an inch below the top line. And doing that method, it allows you to position it. And as you see here, we have an old skin. We're just going to show you how, to, how easily it comes off without leaving any adhesive. Okay, we're ready to put the keyboard skin on. You want to position it 
around the power button and the microphone. Okay, we're satisfied with the positioning. Okay, we're going to slowly lift it up, drop the wax paper down about a couple inches, and work our way down slowly. If you want, you can take your time in smaller increments, but now we're going to lift it up and just drop it. And as you see, our installation method is different from everyone else's. With that clear tape, it keeps the upper section and the bridge together so that you do not have crooked lines going up and down and across on the top section. And as you see, we just took the clear film off. Now we're going to install the mouse pad skin. There it is. Okay, next, the final step is the bottom skin. Now this one here is the MacBook Air, but it's installed the same exact way for all the MacBooks. I'm peel the wax paper off. And reapply it at least about an inch or two below the top line. There again, you can see the crisscross adhesive. Okay, the best thing to do is center around the rubber stoppers in the bottom and the screws. Now, other manufacturers, they do not even cut out the holes for the screws. Now, if you ever had to repair or upgrade your MacBook, it's going to take the skin off. But for ours, we have every little aspect of the cutout right there for you. Okay, looks pretty good right there. Okay. Let's reposition it. Okay, that one looks better than the first. Okay, time to lift it off and drop it. Now similar to the top skin or the back skin, it gives a hair dryer and when I heat up the corners and the edges, especially these days, it's pretty cold. So it's good to seal the edges. And we're finished. Thank you.